suggest, you know, when you're a man of money, you really should sometimes, of course, draw a line under it and walk away. But as we know, that's really never the case for the former royal known as Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Clearly, he likes something of a fight, a battle on his hands, and now apparently he's been, shall we say, buoyed on by this particular celebrity who he truly believes has led the way. And perhaps this could be the next move for, of course, the former royal. As ever, let me explain. Morning, lovely to see you today on this cloudy cast over. Yes, it's nice, isn't it? I mentioned it the other night, didn't I? It was kind of like one of those things where you look around and think, a perfect sky for filming a bit of a horror film. I know what you're thinking, there's a horror in the screen already. There's no need to be unkind. A cruel tongue, you know, gets you know, <laughs> does it? But as I said, I like these sort of clouds because you look over them, don't you think? It's very atmospherical, isn't it? That's what you can imagine what it was like in the Dickinson time here in London when dusk fell and things went awry. Oh, yes. A little bit like Prince Harry, obviously. And his ongoing battle. Oh, we haven't had a wave. Sorry. I'll have a quick. Are you all right? Yes, yeah, sorry. I know. Tell me off. It's like, just tap on the screen. I'll hear you. No, I will, honestly. Well, eventually, over this traffic and everything. Yes, but, you know. But seriously, um, Prince Harry, right, you know, when you think about it, the ongoing battle with his court cases is just never ended. And seriously, you know, he must enjoy this sort of world of litigation because if you've ever dealt with courts, it's a long, laborious thing. Sitting with a lot of lawyers who tell you one thing and you have to decide whether you want to part with your money one way or another. And he's parted with quite a bit of money, as we already know so far. But what's interesting now, as we also know, is the fact that the celebrity actor Hugh Grant has decided to settle his monetary problems with, of course, the Sun newspaper over various hacking claims. Now, you, of course, has come up with a new idea. It's because, you know, a lot of people were saying, ah, you should have continued, you know, you are for the hacking cause, expose people, all that sort of stuff. You has come up with this rambling sort of thing about the reason why he had to settle, but apparently it's a huge sum of money, just not quite revealing how much money is being offered by the newspaper group. Now, you see, the reason why a lot of people decide to settle in the end is they're unsure, and as ever we have to say, allegedly, what the newspaper, their lawyers, might also reveal. And let's not forget, of course, I'm a big fan of Hugh Grant. I've met him, interviewed him on a couple of occasions now. Always been perfectly polite, but he doesn't exactly come without a <laughs> crib sheet free, does he? Let's not forget Divine Brown. So perhaps they could have even looked further down the line of that. That's the problem when you've done something wrong, even if you are a celebrity. A little bit different, of course, one might suspect for Prince Harry, or would it be? But now I've been told by a very good source that if that particular company were to offer a substantial amount towards the former royal known as the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, then he too may now take the U Grant option. And this, of course, really would be very helpful. It would offset the previous bill for the Home Office that he's now being given a 10% discount on. You see, there's never Never any winners in the end. The lawyer wins, the people on each side, both lawyers get paid, but you have some kind of hollow victory where you can basically say, ah, but look, I won, and then your money goes. Either way, it looks like you've come out of this with a bit of a winnings, even though he says that he would have had to pay uh, certain legal costs. So again, not totally free. Either way, again, if Prince Harry decides to follow this particular route, and I'm sure that's been discussed now, we will find out that this will be a huge amount of money and the very first to be paid out publicly in that domain to a, to a former, should I say, senior royal. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.